Welcome back to another season of Discovery Phase 3 Gold Farming video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you a really good gold farm to do if you have a bit of RNG on your side. Before we get into it, I'd like to say once again a big thank you to everyone that has gotten a copy of my season of Discovery Gold Guide. So where we're going to be farming is at this location right here. And we're going to be farming these murlocs. And you may have already guessed from the title, but the main item that we're going to be farming for is the big mouth clams. This has a 0.5% drop chance for the golden pearl, and the golden pearl is worth a lot. You also get the zesty clam meat, which is used to make a new waylaid supply in phase three. So the golden pearl is using a bunch of different crafts for professions in season of discovery phase three, and it has a really good price. So these are the mobs that we're going to be farming. Now there is two different kinds. There is this one, like the blue one, and this mainly does and only does melee attacks. So if you have a class that can do some kiting, you can go ahead and kite these guys very easily. There is also a green mob. This has a ranged ability and also does melee. So just to keep that in mind, you can farm either one of them. So this is the one that does ranged abilities. I found this to be the best when doing it on a mage just because you can stand back and the ranged abilities don't hit as often and knock you back as often on your spells. On top of the big mouth clams and obviously the golden pearls and the zesty clam meat, because of the level of these mobs, you have a really good chance of getting some really good BOEs. Now, the greens are really good, the blues and purples are even better. If you're lucky enough to get your hands on a purple from doing this farm, they can go for hundreds of gold. But don't rely too much on that because obviously they are pretty rare to go ahead and get them to drop. But if you have some RNG on your side, you get lucky enough, you can get some really valuable purples that can sell for a lot of gold. But even if you don't have RNG on your side with the purples, you're going to make a bunch just from the greens. Because of the level of these mobs, the greens are really in demand at the moment because they're actually pretty decent gear pieces for phase three and a lot of people are willing to pay 10 20 up to like 50 gold for greens if they are worth actually buying on top of them things you can get some scrolls and other things that are valuable from this farm some potions things like that that also really well now what i'd recommend doing with this farm is going your best single target build they're kind of a bit hard to aoe farm these guys just because some of them actually do ranged abilities and some do melee. You could gather up all the melee ones and do some AOE farming, but the best thing that I would recommend doing is just making and using your best single target build where you can just go ahead and you can blast out a bunch of damage. This seemed to be the best way for me to do it personally. When I tried to AOE farm these guys, they're so spread out, it's really hard to get like a big stack of like five of these or six of these at a time just because of how far they are spread out. By the time you get to like your fourth mob, the ones that you pulled at the start will actually, you lose aggro and they'll run back. So that is why I recommend just going single target, something that you can do the most amount of damage with these guys. They only have about 5k health, so they are very easy to mow down and get through that 5k health very quickly if you're using a nice single target um, spec. Also, when you're doing this farm, there has been, for me anyways, but we are pretty early into phase three, there was zero competition when I was doing this farm, which is really good. And they actually respawned extremely quickly. By the time I got through like four mobs, the mob at the start would have already respawned. So what I found myself doing was just running around in a tiny circle, killing the four same mobs over and over again because of how quickly they respawn. Now they have a pretty good drop, drop chance on the big mouth clams and obviously inside of the big mouth clams your zesty clam meat is 100% drop chance so no matter what you're going to make a lot of steady gold from the zesty clam meat depending on how much it is on your realm obviously on my realm i can get anywhere from like five to ten silver each for those and they sell extremely quickly because they are used in the waylaid supply well as you can see we just got our first green boe in the video there's actually none of these posted up on the auction house on my realm at the moment. So I could go ahead and pretty much pick whatever price I want for that item. However, it wasn't a crazy shield and nothing too special. 
So we maybe just throw it up for 10, 20 gold and see how we go with that. Now with the green BOEs, if you don't manage to sell them, maybe after like five reposts on the auction house, what you could also do is you could disenchant them and you could sell the disenchanted materials up on the auction house. The disenchanted materials are sell very, very quickly compared to BOE gear. So if it's a junk piece of BOE gear, you could try to sell it obviously first, but if you don't have any luck selling it on the auction house, just go ahead and disenchant it. Um, so you can sell that and you know you're gonna sell the disenchanted materials very quickly. Let me know down in the comments, what has been your most successful farm in phase three at the moment? I would love to know. And that was about it for this video. Just wanted to show you a really good golden pearl farm if you wanna try your RNG at getting some golden pearls and some really nice BOEs. If you could, drop a like on the video. It really means a lot and shows me that you are enjoying these sort of videos. If you'd like to learn the best ways to make gold in Season of Discovery, you can learn exactly how inside of my Season of Discovery Gold Guide, which will be the first link down below in the description box. This guide is constantly updated, and if you already own a copy, you get all future updates completely for free sent to your email address. However, guys, that was it for the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and good luck farming.